Our series, A More Perfect Union, aims to show that what unites us as Americans is really far greater than what divides us. This morning, the unlikely path toward finding family. A homeless man panhandling at a transit station discovered a new life thanks to some people who gave him a chance. Our San Francisco station, that's KPIX, started following this story last year. Elizabeth Cook of KPIX is here in Studio 57 to show us, to tell us all about it. She says it's never too late for a second chance. Elizabeth, nice to see you. Welcome nice to the to table. See you. Thank you for having me. Good morning. For decades, Mick Myers lived his life on the streets. He had no one. Today, he has a family. Thanks to a sheriff's deputy and a private eye who gave Mick a new beginning. If you don't know by now. I've been living a life as alone as a person can possibly be. A loner. That's how Mick Myers describes himself. No kids, never married. The only love he knew, his adoptive mother. Homeless for 30 years, Mick gets by playing for tips at a BART station in the Bay Area. Oh, thank you, and God bless you all. And panhandling along the highway. That's where Sheriff's Deputy Jacob Swalwell caught up with him last year. He warned Mick several times to stop. The next step was to issue a citation. And instead of issuing a citation, you asked him a question. I asked him, well, what's it going to take to get you off the street? Because at that point, I realized me writing him a citation, it's not going to help him at all. As I got closer, I realized he was a senior citizen. I said, well, you're 67. How come you're not on Social Security? He says, well, I can't get it because I can't even get an ID. And I got nobody to help me. And he says, well, you got somebody to help you now. Even with Swalwell's resources at the Alameda County Sheriff's Department, it took three separate trips to the DMV for Mick to get an identification card. It's made me realize that we need to utilize more resources that are available to us to help others. And if we can do that, we're doing the right thing as law enforcement officers. Swalwell's persistence paid off. Mick is now on Medicaid and has applied for Social Security benefits. It makes me feel good that there is actually people in the world who acknowledge me because very few people have before. But Mick's fresh start was just beginning. Private investigator Mark Askins volunteers for Miracle Messages, a nonprofit devoted to reconnecting the homeless with their loved ones. When he learned of Mick's story, he wanted to help out. It was thrilling, very thrilling to find this information. Using the little information provided, Askins was able to find Mick's birth mother, Polly, living roughly 250 miles away in Eureka, California. She was just so anxious to see him and to talk to him and to, you know, a, a true mother's love. It was just, it was beautiful. I found one more person to love. Polly didn't have an easy life either. After leaving her husband, she was a teenage mom struggling to support three kids. Mick was sick and needed surgery. So when he was two years old, Polly gave him up for adoption to her mother's friend who could afford to get him the help he needed. I feel a sadness that he's had to go through this to feel so alone. But at the same time, I'm proud of him because no matter what happened, like me, he's a survivor. Deputy Swalwell and Mark Askins arranged for Mick to fly to meet the mother who gave him up 65 years ago. <laughs> Polly's home is now full of family, ready to embrace Mick. He didn't just get a mom. He got a whole family and they all descended him at one time. <laughs> to have you back puts a piece of my heart back and it means the world to me. You're a part of my life now and I hope you will always will want to be. For Mick, the future may be uncertain, <laughs> but the past is finally resolved. After a lifetime of waiting, what I thought never would happen, happened. A 67-year-old man meets his 85-year-old mother. Who'd have thought? that something like this could happen to anybody, let alone me. But now I'm found, 
Polly has invited Mick to come live with her and her husband in Eureka, but Mick is hesitant to move away from the area where he's really spent his whole life. For now, he's working on getting a car and promises to go back and visit as often as possible. I, I don't even remember the last time I've seen a story like that. No, you come to the table to make us cry <laughs> or whatever. But it's, it's so great they watch. found I each other. Though. They did. I mean, this whole group of characters, it's amazing that they found each other. And the friendship that all of them have, it's pretty heartwarming. And, so they, found, wow. and they found it in a place called Eureka. That's right. Yeah, so that's Thank right. you, Elizabeth. Thank you.